Okay, today I'm going to go over a brief little script that I just put up at bashscripts.info. It's called eBay Watcher, and uh, basically it will uh, give you a little pop-up message uh, uh, if an item that you're watching um, with the Bash script, uh, if the bid changes on it. And it's just, you know, it could be more efficient. You can play with the script, uh, and it just did kind of for fun. I don't really use eBay that much, but someone was asking me... Uh, of a way to do this, so I thought I'd do it. So go to bashscripts.info and you can check out latest scripts or just click on the scripts link here. You'll find it under eBay Watcher. So you can click that and save it. Uh, after it's saved, open up your terminal and navigate to where you have it saved at. Make sure to change the mode to plus X to make it executable. So mod, uh, change mod plus X uh, in the name of the script. Then go to eBay, find an item you want to watch that uh, has bids on it, and we'll grab the uh, address of that item up here. And we will run the script and uh, just put the address of the item right here after the script. So it's dot forward slash eBayWatcher.sh, because that's what the script's called and then the address that we just copied from our browser. We'll hit enter here, it gives you a little information at the top of the screen here, but you'll notice right up here in the corner there's a little uh, box, a little pop-up that tells you the name of the item and tells you the current bid. Now what the script does is every 30 seconds it checks that site again and looks at the price. If the price has changed it will give you a little another pop-up message like that. If it hasn't, it won't do anything. So that's how that script works. So like I said, if someone was to change the bid on that yeah, within 30 seconds we'll get another pop-up message. I'm going to quickly uh, show you the script, although I'm not going to go into detail. You can pull the parts. All basic stuff I've gone over before. Uh, so I'm going to open up, uh, you can use any uh, text editor. I'm using IV right here, uh, ebaywatcher.sh. Uh, the top up here is just comments. Then I clear the screen and then I echo out a message, uh, just some information on the program. And then we start uh, an if-then statement here. And what this says is if one equals nothing, do this stuff. And one is the variable for the, uh, the basically anything after the name of the script. It's a variable based on spaces. So basically it's looking to make sure you put an address of the eBay item. So if you didn't put an address for the eBay item, it will print out this usage me message telling you how to use the program and give you an example. And then it will exit the script. Um, then, if you did put a, uh, a address in there, the script will continue here. And we'll set x equal to 0 here. And then we'll start a while loop. And while 1 means it will loop forever until we kill the program. And what it's going to do is it's going to set three variables. It's going to set the title. So basically, I'm using curl here to grab the web page, uh, the information of the item. And I'm using said to cut apart that page and find the title of that page, which is the name of the item, basically. So that's what this, these series of saids here and grab, uh, grab the title. Uh, bid will tear it apart and find the current bid for it. And then change. Uh, basically looks at that current bid and grabs just the price. So that's this part here, using awk to grab that. And then uh, I use another if-then statement, and I'm saying if x uh, does not equal change, do this. So the first time around, x equals zero. So it will give you a pop-up message right away when you pop when you run the script as I showed earlier. So that's what this does. Then within this loop, uh, so right here we're using send notify or no, sorry notify send and we're displaying the title and the current bid price. So that's what gave us the pop-up message up in the corner earlier. Then we're setting X equal to whatever change equals. So we're saying X equal to the current bid. Then we're going to sleep for 30 seconds and it's going to run this loop again. And this time it's going to grab the price of the bid again and check to see if it equals x, which is what the bid was last time. So the bid is uh, x is no longer zero, it's whatever the bid was last time. And if it's different, then we're gonna pop up another message and uh, set x now equal to the new bid price. 
So it's a simple little short script. Could be more efficient. You could change it instead of pop-ups. You can have it send you an email or a text message. Um, but that's the basis of it. And it's all stuff I've gone over in the past. So that's why I'm not really going into detail on it. But if you have any questions, go ahead and post some comments below. Also feel free to rate this video. And uh, as I said, I, you know, I didn't go into detail, but it's all stuff I've gone over before, but I'll be glad to answer any questions. And the script, once again, is available at bashscripts.info under the scripts section, and it's called eBay Watcher. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.